Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for checking out the content. Today, I have some really cool things I want to show you in regards to the Quad Mula Siren F3 split. Recently, I was contacted by HQ Props. I'm sure many of you guys know HQ. They make the Ethics style props that I actually use the PB&Js on my Quad Mula Siren F3 five split mini. I really do dig these props quite a bit specifically for that setup. I've also tried the J37s, J40s are also really good props that people really enjoy for that juicy style of flying. But this is for three inch. So they suggested a few different three inch props I should try out for the SF3. So I'm really excited because the previous props I was using, which were gem fans, I was kind of having a little bit of an issue with durability. I'll say they were pretty good because they were cheap. They're a very inexpensive prop but I was kind of going through them rather quickly. So I wanted to try something different, maybe in hopes of finding something a little bit more durable. The other product I'm really excited to try out today is the FlyWoo ND filters. They were recently sent to me from FlyWoo, and I appreciate that because I'm always looking for a good ND filter, specifically one that can actually stay on the camera. I'm sure many of you guys have tried. I know I've tried every other one out there, and they all pop off, and you lose them, and it's super frustrating because they're not cheap. So we're gonna try these ones out. They're a little bit of a different design that actually has like a bit of a clip that is meant to hold on to the way that the O3 mounts. So it clips in there and it should hopefully stay. So we'll see, maybe we'll have a good crash and we'll see if we can actually not lose it this time. ND filters are really nice because of course, if you're using the O3, you wanna to try to get some of that motion blur, which looks just a little more cinematic, a little bit better in the quality of image rather than not using anything at all. Another really nice benefit to having something there in front of your camera lens is it can actually act as protection. So you do get quite a few in this pack. They include seven total. So you've got an ND4, eight, 16, 3264, a UV filter, which is a nice clear UV filter, which is pretty much good for any type of situation. And you also have a polarizing filter as well. So if you're having a lot of situations where you're getting a lot of glare, polarizing filter would be pretty good to use for that. But back to the props. So in terms of the props, I was really excited to try them all out. I actually started with the 1.5 pitch ones first. So they're all three inch props. But these are 1.5 pitch. They're not as pitchy as what I was using previously. The gem fans were 1.6 pitch. And again, great flight performance with those. Now, these are good flight performance but they're not very thrusty it's a little bit less pitchy i'll just say though that these are probably the most smooth props i've used so far with this drone and because of that these are excellent for cruising around cruising around the park just getting nice you know pretty images stuff like that especially if you're rocking an nd filter just trying to make you know something nice memorable whatever maybe you're out here with the kids or something like that these are some pretty cool little props to be rocking on this guy because they're a little bit more efficient you get a little bit better flight time so i was averaging anywhere between three and a half four minutes with these props up to six minutes of flight time compared to the normal three to five minutes of flight time that I was getting with the previous props I was using. So yeah, for that, I think these are pretty good. Now these are the 1.8 pitch props that HQ makes. I honestly cannot tell the difference between these and the Gem Fan 1.6 pitch. They literally feel the exact same in terms of performance. Now, these have been better for me in terms of durability, but the Gem Fans were a little bit cheaper, so that's why I kind of stuck to the Gem Fans for a while. But again, I've been having a lot of issues with durability, having to swap those props out a lot. I'd rather have props that just kind of stay good for longer, and I think overall you'll probably end up saving some money. I don't know. The one advantage is of the Gem Fans is they are translucent black. I'm gonna have to see if these actually come in some different colors. If not, you're gonna see some, some pink props in the image when you're flying around with these, which some people may not care. I don't really care. Some people do care a lot for some reason. It is whatever, these are freestyle. So, you know, that's up to you. If you don't wanna see pink props in there, you might wanna go with the translucent props. Now, these were significantly more durable for me than the gym fan props, but I will say that the gym fans were a little bit cheaper. So there's always a give and a take. But I would say these are a really good middle ground in terms of performance and efficiency. So yeah, definitely check those out if you're looking for something of that nature. Now, to the meat and potatoes of this video and what what I'm really excited about. These props, these are two pitch props. I haven't tried anything higher than two pitch on this drone, so who knows what it's gonna feel like if I do or if it'll still fly good, but damn, these feel really good. As far as performance goes, smooth like butter, super powerful, you know, but not too crazy on the battery. I'm still getting about three, three and a half minutes flight time when I'm going really hard, still about five, five and a half minutes if I'm just cruising around nice and slow. So man, these are freaking good, but where they really shine is durability. I've literally only had the one set on here the entire time since I've been flying with these for about a week now, and I haven't had to swap them out at all. I've been crashing in freaking trees and bushes and things like that where you'd think that they would get chipped up, but they are not chipped whatsoever. They're a little bit scuffed and scratched because I've been crashing into even like some concrete and pavement, but they're still perfectly flat. I think I may have bent one back or had to bend one back, but honestly, it's not even a lot of bending. And 
man, they're still going solid. They still fly great. So I am absolutely loving the durability of these props. So now we're going to do a little bit of flying. I'm going to give some commentary over some stick cam. I'm going to talk about the performance of the props themselves. And I'm also going to talk about the ND filters and some benefits to it. We'll see, maybe we'll get a couple of good crashes and actually put the durability of the props to the test. And we'll see if this actual ND filter doesn't go flying like all the rest. So let's check it out. So yeah, as you can see, these props are, they're not brand new. I've been beating them up. They're all scuffed, but they're still flying great. Haven't changed them out a single time since I've had them on here. So that's pretty awesome for a whole week. We've got like eight packs here to fly today. We'll see if you have to swap them out at all. There we go. Never disarm. <laughs> the beauty of three inch drones. Just keep on going. Still flying great. See what I'm saying? <laughs> These props are fucking gnarly, dude. Responsive. Fast. Prop wash control, zippy. Man, I'm really digging this freaking ND filter, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda nice, especially on a sunny day like this, not get fucking blinded by the sun. Hopefully it comes out looking good in the image or in the uh, post-editing process. Get that big ass power loop. See, little three inch drones can power loop. That was a big one too. That was one I was kinda worried I wasn't gonna get the momentum, but I got it, I got it. Juiciness of it. drone is so fucking sick love the sf3 man this thing flies so damn good Let's see if we can get oh there's a person there don't want to bump into them even though it's sub 250 i'm still not trying to hit anybody sure somebody wouldn't appreciate it if i hit them uh, did i go through the gap I was trying to go through the gap. I love these trees right here. These trees are so cool. These are all kinds of little neat gaps here. Get in there all nice and proxy-like. Tracking. Dude, this drone is so cool. Oh, I made it through. <laughs> Dude, I didn't think I was going to make it through that knife edge. Oh, that was wild. Bring it in. Got a bent prop. I wonder where we bent it. Probably when we slapped the ground all those fucking 50 times. Let's see. Bent props. See if we just bend them back and keep going. But see, they're still not chipped. What? not chipped but we can work with this my old fucking motto is bend it and send it dude hell yeah still looks decent so those of you who wonder my settings i just used the o3 and auto um i think right now it's in the ultra wide view which is pretty cool i crop it in just a tad to make sure i get the top plate out of the view but just a little bit i don't have to do too much um what else it's 4k 60 fps um i don't really feel like i'm bothered by the latency i know a lot of people complain about the latency i think it's perfectly fine for me um you can't really get ultra wide view without being in 60 fps so there's that and decent alike that's pretty much it those are my settings and i get pretty decent uh image quality out of the o3 i think freaking love this quad It zips, it rips, and see, I really like these props because they feel good in terms of performance. Like they're not, like I feel some of the other props I've tried are a little bit mushy. 
These are really snappy, responsive, and still smooth, very smooth. As of always, I, I don't fly freestyle with stabilization, um, so my quads are tuned well, and yeah. Great speed on these props, great thrust, feeling pretty good. These are probably my new favorites for sure. I don't know how much they cost, I haven't even looked, so hopefully they're not too expensive. Low battery, all right, we'll bring it in, we'll bring it in. She's starting to get mad. Not trying to go too low with the battery. So now that we're done flying, I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Have you tried out these props? Do you agree that they're pretty durable? Do you agree that they perform well? Is there something even better out there maybe that I haven't tried yet that I should give a shot? In terms of the ND filter, I think it was a pretty good addition. It's nice to have that thing that gives me a little bit better motion blur, looks a little bit more cinematic -y, better quality images coming out of the O3, and it actually hung on, and that's a huge plus because that's the thing that I hate the most, of course. Is there anything else out there maybe you guys have tried that actually hangs on really well too? Definitely drop that down in the comments below so I know. If you're interested in any of these products, I will have some links in the description below where you can actually go ahead and find them yourself, try them out, let me know what you guys think. And of course, as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy flying.